Dean Lonergan, boss man, how have you been? Been well, just uh, over from New Zealand, came, flew in on Tuesday and looking forward to seeing Brock Jarvis fight tomorrow night. It'll be something special. And of course, our good man Isaac Hardman taking on Mark Lucas. You know, Lucas, it's very impressive that he's stepping up to the plate. Not too many people want to fight Isaac. So uh, looking forward to it immensely. And what did you think of the show last night as well? I actually really enjoyed it. I went to the show and I thought uh, it was a really good show and I liked the innovations that you see in basketball a lot with the kissing cam and the dance cam. So yeah, those are, those are very cool things to bring to the table. So yeah, I enjoyed it immensely. Mate, Brock's looking good. Um, big test ahead of him. It's a huge test for Brocky. You know, like I've been in discussions with Bob Aram for the last week and a half, two weeks to take the winner of Christian Diaz versus uh, Manuel Navarati for down here in October. And uh, we've got pretty close on that, so we just have to wait and see. So Brocky needs to win tonight to uh, maybe lock that in. But we'll just see how he goes. Brocky's getting bigger and bigger as a human being he's, as he gets older and, uh, you know, staying under the weight limits. We've got to make sure he's, we, you know, he's, he can make it and make it safely. Mate, yeah, very good. Well, we're expecting big things out of him and always good to see you and talk to you. Uh, you've got a great knowledge in the sport and obviously one of the bigger names. The sport's going really well. How, what do you, how do you think the second half of the year is going to end up with Australian boxing? Oh, look, I think there's some uh, amazing fights out there. You know, Brocky, you know, potentially going to a world title at the end of the year. Isaac Hardman, you know, I reckon he's Ryder Murata would be a great fight for Isaac at the end of the year. You know, he's clocking up win after win. He's got to win well tomorrow night. Um, you know, obviously Justice Hooney's coming on, Jai Opatire, you know, we fight for either the mandatory or a world title inside the next sort of three months with Jai. Uh, and the IBF, depending on what Marius Brutus does, whether he moves up to heavyweight or whether he takes on Lawrence Acoli and they do a unification belt. So uh, either way, we are locked in at the number three position. Right now, number one and two are vacant, so we've either got a mandatory or we've got a world title, a vacant world title. Paul Gallon's performance last night was just stunned me. I couldn't believe what happened with uh, with Lucas Brown. And I've got to say, for regardless of the outcome last night, Gallon to get in there in the first place with the guy six foot five, you know, former WBA champion, uh, had 31 fights, you know, 29 wins and about 25 knockouts. Was he's got balls of steel, you know? And uh, hats off to Paul Gallon. But if he wants to step up to a real fighter, because I've got to say, unfortunately, Lucas is probably shot. But uh, I got a young heavyweight called Justice Hooney, and there's a lot of. Uh, chatter and banter going on but uh, we're for real we will take on we need another fight before we go to the olympics so paul if you want to make a seven figure amount give us a call brother